Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Imagine you want to play with your favorite toy, but you can't find it. Where did it go? Chen is looking for his favorite toy car, but he can't find it anywhere. It's definitely not in his room. Well, let's check somewhere else. Ah, Chen left some toys in the dining room. We're looking for a red car with shiny wheels and black tires. Hmm, where could it be? Oh, there it is. It's under the table. We found it. It's Chen's lucky day. We found Chen's toy car under the table. The word under helps us to describe where something is located in relation to another object or surface. Under means lower than or below, like underwater or underground. You know, I wonder what else can we see under the table? Ah, cool. There's also a toy dog under the table. And I see a ball that was left under the table, too. And Chen also has another car below the table. The toy dog, ball, and toy car were all left under the table. Hmm, looks like this room needs some tidying up. Okay, Chen put his toy car and ball away on the shelves. He put his toy car away on the shelf above the ball. Now, above, uh, that means higher than or over. So the toy car is above the ball. What do you say we get more familiar with these words? Which picture here shows a toy boat above a toy plane? That's right, this one does. The toy boat is on the same shelf higher than the toy plane. And the boat is above the plane. Well, that's a bit unusual. In real life, planes are usually above boats. Now, which picture shows the cat sitting below a box? That's right, this one does. The cat is under the box, and so he's sitting below the box. Great job! Oh, cool. Now Chen has decided to meet some friends at the park. Sue and Will are sitting on a bench waiting for Chen. Sue is sitting beside Will. And Will is sitting beside Sue. Sue and Will are sitting beside each other. Beside, that means on the side of. We can also say next to. Like, Sue is sitting next to Will. Will is sitting next to Sue. Sue and Will are sitting next to each other. What's that? Sue says that she left her ball next to a tree in the park. Well, which ball is Sue's? Let's have a look. Hmm, this ball is next to a tree, so it must be Sue's. Great job. Now, Sue, Will, and Chen can all play with the ball. Aw, oh, that looks like fun. Now let's practice using beside and next to just a little more. Which picture shows the dog next to the box? Now we just learned that in this picture, the dog is below the box, and so that's not it. Aha, uh -huh, this is the right picture. Here, the dog is next to the box, and the box is also next to the dog. Isn't that neat? And can you tell me which picture shows the cat beside the box? We also just learned that in this picture, the cat is above the box, and so this one isn't it. Aha, uh -huh, this is the right picture. Here, the cat is beside the box, and the box is also beside the cat. Amazing job. Ooh, fun! Chen, Will, and Sue have started playing hide and seek. Uh, that's a game where two people go hide and the other person has to find them. It looks like Will and Sue are hiding. Hmm, should Will hide in front of or behind this tree? Well... This is Will in front of the tree. That's not a good hiding place. It's pretty easy to find him. So what about if Will goes behind the tree? Oh, now it's much harder to see Will. Great hiding place, Will. And Sue is going to use this bush to hide. Right now, Sue is in front of the bush, and it's easy to see Sue. 
Maybe Sue should hide behind the bush. Ah, now we can't see Sue. Sue is behind the bush. Uh, the bush is in front of Sue, and that's also a great hiding spot. Now Chen is going to look for Will and Sue, but don't tell him where they are. Let's practice using the words in front of and behind instead. Which picture shows the dog behind the box? Hmm, this one shows the dog next to the box. And this one shows the dog below the box. Oh, but this one shows the dog behind the box. Great! And which picture shows the cat in front of the box? Well, let's see. In this picture, the cat is beside the box. In this picture, the cat is above the box. Well, let's look at this one. Aha! Here, the cat is in front of the box. Fantastic! Amazing job today! You learned about above, below, and under. Above means higher than or over, and below means lower than or under. And you also learned about beside and next to. These mean two things are side by side. And you learned about in front of and behind. Uh, like in this picture, where a dog is in front of a box, and the box is behind the dog. These mighty words will help you describe and find different objects. Yeah, look around your home. What's under your bed? Are there toys hiding behind your couch? Keep practicing, and see you mighty soon!